The Lightning Thief, the Percy Jackson musical, is an epic play where Greek gods are real and they are ruining Percy Jackson's life. As a son of Poseidon, Percy has newly discovered powers he can't control, monsters on his trail, and is on an epic quest to find Zeus's lightning bolts to prevent a war between the gods. Well, guess what? Chris McCarroll, who plays Percy Jackson, and Jalen Steele, who plays the role of his mother, Sally, join us today. What a treat. Thank Welcome. You. Thank you. So uh, fans have seen this the last two nights. What's the response been? I mean, this has such a big fan base. Yeah. It's been epic. It's yeah. been great. Uh, the audience is in, in love with the show. Um, a lot of a lot of good screams and, and applause <laughs> and everything like that. So it's a lot of fun. The, the audiences have been great. So my first thought, though, when I see this, because there is such a big fan, I mean, there's movies and there's books, mm -hmm. but a musical. So explain what people can uh, kind of expect from this particular version of this beloved story. Mm -hmm. So we really tried to protect the heart of the books okay. with our production. Uh, we knew that the secret sauce was kind of the tone and the irreverency of the novels that blew up yeah. in popularity. Uh, and it really works for a musical because we're talking about kids that have these otherworldly powers and what better way to make a kid go <laughs> yeah. from very normal to very abnormal <laughs> than <laughs> having a crazy rock score yeah. uh, underlining the, the whole show. So it really works as a good adaptation for this story specifically. What is the most fun response, do you think? I mean, kind of when you're looking at everything, is there a moment in the show that seems to kind of get the biggest reaction or? Oh, there's several. Yeah. <laughs> uh, he actually does a song called Good Kid uh, mm -hmm. in the first number and he's kind of realizing, you know, I've done all of this, these things and, and, and trouble seems to follow me. I can't find, you know, myself, but I am a good kid, like yeah. in all in all is a good kid and I think that one gets a pretty big response there. <laughs> well, what is it about the storyline do you think that has made this such a huge hit you know again where there's movies there's not I mean a musical I mean. Mm. I think it's the the story that we all relate to of when you're a teenager trying mm -hmm. to figure out your set of gifts and your weaknesses and strengths and trying to organize those and to optimize them into yeah. really being the engine for your adult life. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's that story of feeling disempowered by what makes you feel mm -hmm. different and learning that actually you could be half Greek God and that's just, <laughs> that's just the issue. Uh, so I think people relate to that a lot. Mm -hmm. What do you think, I don't mean to put you on the spot, but age-wise for his family, you know, families coming to the show this week with what do you think um I, it's fun for the whole family okay. I say if they if they're little and they can sit through we I think we run about two hours okay. two two hours plus um if they can sit through that they'll enjoy it because the lights the sound yeah. the acting everything it just creates such a great great show so well, the response has been incredible yeah. shoes that fly right. pens that turn into swords <laughs> and then we have really awesome adult humor yeah. Yeah. lying just beneath the surface throughout so oh, good yeah. deal. we made it good for everyone guys yeah. thanks for coming in. Have fun here in Tampa. I know we're going to have fun seeing the show. It plays through Sunday. There are the details. We appreciate your time this awesome. morning. Thank you.